Prime Minister Diefenbaker, are you and Premier Douglas planning to hold a press conference after your meeting today? Premier Douglas and I haven't planned anything. I haven't spoken to the man yet. Well, are you going to be discussing the balance of payments between the federal and provincial governments? Gentlemen, I simply plan to have a, a little chat with a fellow Saskatchewanian. And if anything important comes up, we'll be sure to let you know and keep these fellows out here. Would you folks mind giving us a moment in private, please? Prime Minister, I uh, thought we weren't meeting until this afternoon. It's not official, Tom. It's just a little chat. Sit down. I want to talk to you about this hospitalization program you have going. What about it? I understand it's eating up a good chunk of your budget. Well, no more than it merits. It's an excellent program. It's an expensive program. And what's it cost? A quarter of your budget? Your revenue? Something like that. Mm -hmm. A little closer to a third, actually. But you have to understand, we pay for every hospital bed in this province. Well, I've got at least two premiers who are very upset with you about this. I don't see how it's any of their business. Their constituents want to know why they're still paying hospital bills when it's free in Saskatchewan. Well, that sounds like an excellent question to me. Because you're the only leader in the country who doesn't have to answer it. Now, I hope you are not suggesting that I scale back the program. It has occurred to me. So I had a couple of my bright boys take a look at it. And? They tell me that you're doing the right thing. We should take this national. These were conservatives who said this. Indeed. So. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I will match every dollar every province spends on free hospitalization. I, I just don't quite understand it. Don't see why you have to understand. Well, I would like to. I would like to, with all due respect. The fact is, my, uh, my mother has been in the hospital here for quite some time. Will be for the rest of her life, I imagine. <clears throat> I'm sorry, sir. I, I didn't realize. No, it's not <laughs> Anyway, I could have moved her anywhere. The Mayo Clinic, anywhere she wanted. But she's a local girl, and uh, the idea of going away was... Uh, very upsetting for her. So... <clears throat> As it turns out, I've had the opportunity to see her program in quite some detail. I think it's a damn decent thing. It makes me proud of where I come from. I'm gonna take it national and that's that. Thank you, John.